I'm going to start today's video with a question I frequently get. Here's two charts, left chart wicked style Renko, chart on the right old school brick style. Traders frequently ask me what happens if I put in a stop limit order per your entry method at the bar opening price on the old school brick style Renkos. But what happens if the candlestick then prints a new color uh, goes from indigo to cyan and I said it's real simple. If that happens then we just kill the order and wait for a new setup. So here in this case the market rises up we get a cyan candlestick and I just kill the order and wait for a new setup because I'm not going to get a touch and go or stop and go setup play out then in that scenario. Now on the left side I get the question how do you get into trades with wicked rankles? It's real simple. Candlestick closes there. I see what the price is. I drop a regular limit order. In this case, I was able to get a little bit of price improvement. But the standard that we talk about is to at least get in at the bar closing price. I put in my risk, in this case, 10 ticks on oil. And I go for then a minimum of a 2 to 1 reward to risk target. So in oil, I never go for less than 2 to 1. In this case, I'm going for a 20 cent target. Uh, then at this point I'm in the trade management mode. The first time that I get a good candlestick close below the entry trigger line, at that point I would then take my stop that's set at 10 ticks and I would move it down and start following the auto stop plot. So in this case I'm in the in trade management mode and I'm just waiting for the market to either do one of a few things. Come up, hit my stop, uh, trade down towards my target and cross the entry trigger line and give me a close. So once I get a candlestick that closes uh, on the other side of the entry trigger line, then I'm ready to move my stop down and start following the auto stop plot for my in-trade management. Now at this point when I have a close on the other side of my entry trigger line, I move my stop down to the auto stop dots and that's what I'll use for the in-trade management from this point going forward. So I'm waiting for the market to either trade up, hit my stop, stop me out, or trade down to my first target level. So at this point I'm in the trade and I'm just waiting for the market to you know, trade in either direction and it's real simple. The market keeps trading in my intended direction and I'll just keep moving my stop down with the auto stop plot dots that appear on the chart as my guide as to where I should be moving my stop in the trade. At this point I'm just watching the market. Anytime I get a new auto stop plot lower I keep following my stop down until the point that the trade comes down and touches my target. So if the market trades down touches my target then I automatically move my stop to break even or a tick better no sense leaving any risk on a trade if the market's already achieved touching your stop I'm sorry touching your target but not yet filling your target and I just wait for the trade to continue to play out so in this case you'll see I'm gonna move I'm gonna bleed out any risk in the trade and you can even go to break even plus a tick and uh, just waiting to see if either the market bounces back comes out and takes me out or waiting to see if it'll finally fill my target which it has touched so far I have not yet received the fill. And in this case now I'm filled, kill my stop order, that was my protective stop, and now that trade is concluded. So the objective with a turn or a flip trade on a Renko chart with wicks is to get in at that bar closing price with a regular limit order. On fast moving markets you can use a market order but realize you're going to have slippage. So that is the objective, is the bar closing price or better. Now on the chart on the right with the old school brick style Renko, one thing I like to see when I'm working what I call touch and go trades, I like to see the entry trigger line actually completely plotting through the actual Renko bar. Here you can see I have the entry trigger line only kind of touching the upper portion of the Renko bar itself. So in this case, I would sit on my hands. I would wait for a, another Renko bar to print where I definitely have the full trigger line plotting through the bar itself or below the bar in this case. And I would be in the pending mode waiting for an indigo bar. I get an indigo bar. I come in. I place a stop limit order at the bar opening price. 
That would be the dot 13 cent level. And I'm waiting for the market to fill me. Once the market fills my stop limit order, I put in first my stop of 10 cents in the oil here and a target of 20 cents. So this is just a general example, but I want to show you we never go for less than two to one reward to risk on every trade. But the difference here is, is the old school brick style, we get in with stop limits at the bar opening price of the bar that just printed. We place our stop limit, we wait for the market to trade to our stop limit, fill us. Once we're filled, then we put in our stop first and then our two to one target. Whereas on the chart on the left, the trade I'd worked earlier, that one we enter at the bar closing price with a regular limit order or in very fast moving markets for experienced traders that are familiar with slippage, you could use a market order. About 90% of the time I enter my, uh, my trades on charts with wicks when I'm getting in at the bar closing price with a limit order, probably well over 90% of the time, more like 95% of the time, I'm getting in at a limit order at the bar closing price or better. I'm just very rarely do I need to go to a market order. It's only usually when the markets are moving very fast and I'm really trying to keep following a well-established trend. So right here, just trying to show you the mechanical process of the two different entry types. So we use a stop limit order to enter on the old school brick style charts. We use a regular limit order at the bar closing price on the uh, Rankos with Wicks. So here I've been entered in this trade, waiting for the market to either move to my stop or move down towards my target. So I'm in the in-trade management mode. Now another thing, the first time I get a good candlestick close below the entry trigger line, since I'm going short, then I'm willing to now move my stop down to the auto stop plot. So I take off my initial stop distance and my maximum stop that I tend to use in oil is right around 10 to 12 cents depending on market conditions and time frame. And in this case I only use a 10 tick stop and I've now moved it from my initial stop setting down to the auto stop plot. Now that I got a candlestick that closed or a wrinkle bar that closed on the other side of the trigger line that's on the side of my intended trade direction. Now all I do is as I get new auto stop plots printing I just keep following my stop in, in alignment with the auto stop plot waiting for the trade to trade to my entry target or to, you know my I shouldn't say entry target but my initial target so right here I'm in the in trade management and that's all I have to do once I'm in the trade just keep following my stop down uh, along with the auto stop plots that are printing so I don't anticipate it I let them print and then I move the stop accordingly and the final part of my trade is once I get my target hit to make sure that I kill any pending uh, protective stop. And that concludes the trade on a old school brick style Ranko. Now if you want training on how to use NinjaTrader, go to the NinjaTrader.com page, go to support, go down into the Get Train section, and as you can see there's various resources, but they do have free live training webinars that you can attend on a weekly basis, and they do have uh, training on Superdome basics, so you can see how to drop those various stop limit or limit orders onto your dome or also they have training on how to use the chart trader and they give you a schedule of events. So please go to ninjatrader.com for additional training on Superdome basics and I wanted to make sure to show you guys the two different styles of entries we use at Trend Following Trades for entries into trades with either a wicked style Renko chart or the old school brick style Renko chart.